So it looks like there's all this money flowing around, people taking money to run their campaigns, high, highly paid lobbyists who get you know, $500 an hour to go and talk to congressmen and try to persuade them to do policy A or policy B. Uh, and occasionally people get caught actually taking a bribe or something like this, like Duke Cunningham uh, a few years ago. But it's pretty rare that you see anybody actually caught and any, doing anything that's actually illegal. And so it's all a question of perceptions, really. And some people have very low tolerance for any kind of um, what looks like corruption, appearance of corruption, and they, and, they, and they see corruption everywhere. And then other people say, no, that's just how things work. Nobody's taking any money, nobody's doing anything illegal. And all this money does is facilitate politics. Some places you see, um, say, I was just talking to somebody from Albania, and they were saying, okay, there, um, when you go to the doctor, and you want to get treated, uh, you have to pay a bribe. And when you know a, a cop stops you on the street, um, then you're expected to pay a bribe, just you know whether you've done anything wrong or not, and so on. So all public officials and many private officials are expecting, or private people are expecting extra bri bribes, extra compensation, a form of corruption that in, is in some countries according to this person I was talking to uh, uh, in, in Madrid uh, two, two days ago. In Albania, it's everywhere. And in Mexico, I talk to people in Mexico and they say it's everywhere. And in the US, you don't find that at all. And I think you don't also in Spain and so on and so forth. You don't, on a day-to-day -day basis, you're not expected as a citizen to pay bribes. So that's a completely different level of corruption. You can build an index and then it runs from, you know, Switzerland and Sweden and, and, and Denmark and places uh, where people say, yeah, we don't see much corruption. Uh, and the U.S. would be up there too, probably not maybe at the very top, but pretty high. And then runs down to its countries, uh, many former Soviet bloc countries, some Latin American countries, Asian countries where, uh, African countries where it seems it's very high. So there's huge variation. It doesn't seem to be obviously correlated with explicit rules, explicit like electoral rules, for example. Um, there might be some weak correlations here or there, but, but not really. So it seems much more of a, of a, of a like a, an entire a social and almost cultural thing. It's probably not cultural, but maybe it gets part of, gets, it's produce, it, it, when people start to try to define culture, it gets sucked into there. But it's like an entire social arrangement, more than something that's a function of... So, the, the point is, it's not obvious what small tweak of any rule will eliminate it, or change the uh, equilibrium from bad to good. It has happened. Countries have moved from bad to good, but we don't really understand.